Imagine I said this to you, and this is a hypothetical situation. This is the most important podcast I've ever done. In fact, it will increase your sales 150% overnight, and this will be the only opportunity that you will have to listen to it because it's going to be taken down in the next 30 minutes. If you miss out what I'm going to teach you right now, you will kick yourself because you're never going to have the opportunity to hear it again. Let me ask you a question. Did you feel a sense of urgency? Well, if you did, it's because you valued something that I was offering you here, such as the opportunity to increase your sales 150% overnight. But if you did not feel a sense of urgency, it's either because you didn't value what I was offering or you didn't believe me. Hello, my friends. This is Mace Harf. I want to welcome you to the Medical Sales Guru Podcast, the podcast for medical sales professionals. That is you, hopefully. And I also want to share with you that this is a joint video for the Medical Sales Channel. So we're doing both at the same time, which I try to do on occasion, so I could access more people and provide more content across more channels. I think you get all that. I am very, very glad that you are here because today, I'm going to talk about something which is urgent, and that is urgency. Now, here's a funny thing. I've had reps comment that you can't use urgency to sell anymore, that it just doesn't work. And I got to tell you, when I hear that, I think it's one of the stupidest things I ever heard. And here's why. Urgency always works. If urgency exists, it always motivates people to take action or to take action sooner. So here's the problem. Medical reps don't always know how to present urgency and leverage it. But here's what's beautiful. You sell in the healthcare world. You're selling to healthcare professionals. And the beauty is, is that urgency already exists. Now, the, your job, your job is to really find out what that urgency is. And urgency to a healthcare professional can be different things. Now, often, it's not going to be your job to create the urgency itself. You see, the beauty is the urgency is already built into the categories of value that you need to deliver something you've heard me talk about many times, and something which hopefully, if you really want to be successful in medical sales, value is something that you're focusing on all the time. So urgency, again, remember, to healthcare professionals can be different things. And the classic way to create urgency is a time-limited opportunity, such as when I said that this will only be available for a limited time, for a short period of time, and if you wait, you could lose out. So let me ask you this. Can you position that kind of urgency with your product or service? Often, you can't. But there may be opportunities that you're not thinking of. For example, when you have a new product or service, and assuming you have early adapters, that is those healthcare professionals that want to be the first to try something. They're anxious to try it out. They're willing to explore new avenues of therapies and treatment or ways of doing business. If you have healthcare professionals like that, are you able to offer the opportunity for them to get on board with your product or service where it can be used as something to give them a competitive edge uh, against their colleagues. Uh, we've seen this many times in healthcare. Our, such uh, examples are with minimal incision surgery, MIS. When MIS first was available, for example, in the orthopedic market, you had some surgeons who were very quick to embrace it and adapt it, and others had an attitude of, well, let me sit back and wait. Here's what they learned. Those surgeons who sat back and waited oftentimes were losing patients 
to those surgeons who offer the minimal incision. In other words, the ability to have the same procedure done. In orthopedics, this was a hip or a knee replacement with a smaller incision, less pain, faster recovery. This was something that patients value. I mean, who, who wouldn't value less pain, shorter recovery, and a smaller incision? A lot of surgeons underestimated how compelling this was to their patients. And those who didn't offer it lost patients to surgeons who did. So if you have a procedure where you have the ability to offer a healthcare professional or an institution an opportunity to be one of the first, this could give them a competitive edge. Hence, it's urgent. So besides MIS, some of the other areas where we've seen doctors wanting to get a competitive edge on their colleagues are with laser procedures. When a new laser becomes available or a new indication is approved for a laser and they'd like to be able to offer that before their colleagues do. We've often seen this also with uh, cosmetic procedures in general, where a cosmetic surgeon, for example, can offer a procedure which is faster, uh, faster healing, less downtime, where someone could go immediately back to work, and lower cost. They like getting these competitive edges. What are some other time urgency type things you could offer? Maybe you have a product or service with a limited time financing option uh, or an extended warranty that you could offer for a limited time. Maybe you have a free warranty and delivery that you offer for a limited time or a promotion where you're offering, for example, free disposables with a piece of capital equipment. These are all examples of creating a time urgency type of thing. But what you're going to find is that the most common reasons for urgency, they go back to the things that healthcare professionals value. And this is something, again, I talk about all the time. You have to constantly be honing your skills to be able to sell, create, and deliver value. I'm just going to give you a couple of examples here as value ties into urgency. Let's talk about saving money, cost reduction, for example. If cost reduction is significant or significant enough, either immediately or over time, do you think this creates a level of urgency? It depends on how much, but think about that. Why would someone, why would a healthcare professional, why would an institution want to delay saving money if all other aspects of the value proposition are there? In other words, if your product does exactly what a competitive product does or more, and you're able to do it with a cost savings, why would they want to wait? I'm not saying there aren't reasons, but this is just an example of how urgency is built into the proposition. What about risk reduction? If you are able to significantly reduce risk for a healthcare professional and the healthcare professional's patients, why would he or she want to wait? Let's say you have a reduction in mortality with your procedure. Would a healthcare professional say, well, a reduction in mortality? I'm going to let a few more patients die first before I look for ways to eliminate that mortality risk. It, it just doesn't make sense. The point I'm trying to convey is if the value is there, then the urgency is built in. You see, if there is no urgency, if healthcare professionals and other healthcare buyers aren't expressing a level of urgency or acknowledging a level of urgency, it's because... One, they don't value your offering. There's no value for them. Or two, they don't believe you. They don't believe you can deliver what you say you're going to deliver. So how do you counter that? Well, the key to creating urgency is your ability to prove the value in tangible terms. In other words, if your value is cost reduction, how much cost reduction? Be specific. Be specific for that institution. Have some idea of the number of procedures they're doing and exactly how much money they stand to save so you could present it. Can you present a case study which shows how a similarly sized or operating institution saved 
X amount of dollars over X period of time. This makes it very, very real. And if they believe you, then the urgency becomes more real. Let's be honest. In healthcare, there are things that are keeping your customers up at night or things that would be keeping your customers up at night if they were aware of it. Part of your job is to help healthcare professionals see the risks, see the pitfalls, see where things can be better. That's what you do because when they see this, there then becomes an urgency to achieve it. And if they're not achieving it, that just might keep them up at night. So at the end of the day, urgency is strongly tied to value. When you do a great job of creating, articulating, and selling value, then urgency is going to be a natural part of that. So hopefully you could see that urgency is directly tied to your ability to create value, articulate value, and this is going to be directly related to the level of sales skills that you have in your career. So again, if you are not sure that your selling skills are up to par, let me invite you to take a look at Medical Sales Academy. It is my 24-7, 365 solution to help medical sales professionals to sell more. And we don't just teach you and walk away. We're there for a full year or longer to help support you in your efforts. If you want more information about that, go to medicalsalesacademy.com. Enrollment is only opened a few times during the year. Right now, it is not open uh, when I'm recording this video. So uh, if you get to the page and enrollment is not open, just click on the link, sign up for a free course that will help you in the meantime, and we'll notify you when enrollment for Medical Sales Academy opens again. I'd like to thank you for spending some time with me on this episode of the Medical Sales Guru podcast and the Medical Sales Channel. And again, I want to remind you about one of the most important things that I value and where you should always have a sense of urgency. And that is with the patient. No matter what you do in your medical sales career, nothing is more important or more urgent than helping the patient now, today. My friends, the patient always comes first. You have the ability to make a difference with what you do. Go out there and make it. For the Medical Sales Guru Podcast and the Medical Sales Channel, this is Mace Haroff. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.